Honey, I'm home. I'm here. Master Kota is dead. Nope. Yes. Damn it. His lightsaber. All right, let me just pull it out from my butt cheeks and oh, uh -huh. clipping. My spies have located another Jedi. Surprise faced. Kasdan Paratus is far more powerful than you. I do not expect you to survive. But if you destroy him, you'll be one step closer to your destiny. The Emperor. Yes. Only together can we defeat him. I will not fail you, my master. I find your lack of faith in me disturbing, Lord Vader. It's like a freaking mega chode or something. I don't know. Amazing. It looks just like the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Proxy, are you picking up any communications? Too many to decipher. I can hear thousands of droids all calling out to each other. This is where all droids go to die. Set us down as close to that thing as you can. I'll do my best. There are not many clearings. You'll need to approach the temple on foot. The quote unquote temple. She didn't put much emphasis on that. Anyway, welcome to Raxus Prime, the butthole of the galaxy. I'm returning to low orbit. Cool! Scanners show you'll need to make it through that large hyperdrive core in front of you. Once on the other side, you should be able to reach the junk temple. Cool beans. Good luck. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious. You're going to need to find a way to get through that hyperdrive core. Is there anything nearby you can use as a makeshift explosive? Pfft, no. Anyway, welcome back to Star Wars Let's Play the Force Unleashed Thingy Majig. I'm your host, RC Scepter5665. In the last episode, we went breaking havoc and stuff. I'm in picking the... up scraps of Rodi's communication. Scraps. We're approaching some sort of salvage operation. I'll deal with them. Especially in Death Sticks. So you like drugs, right? Anyway, in the last episode, I don't know if it'll happen in this one. Probably not, though. But there was actually a Rodian skiff that got stuck. <clears throat> got stuck. What the hell? What? What? What is even going on? I can't even tell anymore. I seriously can't even tell. Those explosions that you're hearing are these Eclipse scavengers. What? We're picking up a lot of movement beyond that hyperdrive core. Okay. Let's kick. This is unbelievably fun. And I'm going to show you something that happened when I was doing this and I glitched out and the animation didn't play through. Bloop! And we're back. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, continuing onward now. Don't hit me. Or I will punt you like your brethren. Your brethren. Why? Because I can and I'm such a chode. Take that. Also take this. Also take this. There wasn't even anything there. I shouldn't have even bothered. Bless you. That's what I say to people who sneeze. Excuse me, GTFO. That's a Larty. In English, a Republic gunship. Which actually comes from the Clone Wars era. If you hadn't guessed, that was why I'm wearing my skin. No particular skin that I'm wearing. This is the Imperial Commando, if you hadn't guessed it already. Also, it is basically their reference to Star Wars Republic Commando. Which was a game title, first person shooter, thingy majig, which actually gave you a lot of insight into the grittier military aspect of Star Wars rather than the typical, oh look, I'm a Jedi Knight, I can use the force and shiz. It's definitely a bigger contrast compared to the typical light and dark battle you see with the Jedi and the Sith all the time. Also, that's a Geonosian fighter, also I'll get interrupted. Hee <laughs> hee, cutscenes. Piss you fall off. Juno, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Are you picking up anything? Just some panic transmissions. 
The scavengers didn't expect any droid resistance. Neither did I. Still, I'm not really interested in them at all right now. So let's pull this up. Not get hit by the ass munches that are the droids. Let's get to this side. And pull. Excuse me, can you just get the heck off my rock planet thing? Seriously, I would actually very profoundly like that very much. Like, seriously, just get out. Don't you dare try and get on, like, where I am. I will hate you for a... I will hate you for an eternity if you do such. Ah, uh, I couldn't do what I did in the last time. The last cutscene. But yes, as, some, as I was saying, um, the Republic Commando gives a very gr dark and gritty insight. The scanners aren't picking up any power signatures from those droids. Yes, proxy. It's as if they're being powered by the Force. Anyway. Yes, Republic Commando does give a lot more of an insight to the darker, grittier side of the Star Wars franchise, which I love. And I'm sad that it was overlooked by a lot of people. And I'm really wishing by the fact that they decided to actually even reference this particular skin in the first- Can you just get the frick away?! That's what you get, you pieces of crap. Just get out! You're the most annoying characters in Star Wars and everyone hates you! Especially you! He actually disappeared. Now that door will actually trap you if you're not careful. But anyway. Ah, as I was saying, yes. Republic Commando gives a lot darker, grittier feel to it than your traditional Jedi Sith kind of fighting. Um, I mean, even though that was pretty dark and gritty itself, if you've played the Knights of the Old Republic games, um, you'd definitely be able to tell. But I mean, I don't know why, because they've made the reference with this as alone as... English, I don't speak it very well. Ha! Huh. They've made a reference to the games as it is. They've made a reference to Star Wars Republic Commando, both with this skin and with an Easter egg in the first level, which I explained, I think. I don't know, I've recorded this way too many times, and I should already pretty much know everything that I've referenced. If I haven't re re referenced it, I am very, very, very sorry. Just kidding, I'm not. Anyway, as I was saying, they've, re they've made reference to the game twice now. Star Wars Republic Commando. So why can they not make a freaking sequel really astounds me. I don't get it. I just got hit by the door. I actually got hit by the door whapping me forward. And now we're not going back. Cool. But um, yeah, if you're at all interested in seeing Star Wars from a very different perspective, Play Star Wars Republic Commando, or even the Knights of the Old Republic games, as I said. Because you'll see the Star Wars franchise for a complete, through a completely different pair of eyes and a different perspective, and it's way cool to see it for a, to see it for what it really is. And that's why I like the Clone, uh, the Clone Wars era a lot more, is because it was a lot darker and grittier than a lot of the Star Wars stuff that you see conventionally. Like, oh my god, Stormtroopers, oh my god, Death Star, oh my god, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, who's... There's a lot of dark stuff with it, with every frame of the Star Wars eras anyway. But I particularly like the Clone Wars for what it offered, so. That's where my fanboyism lies. Anyway. Um, and, I, and I also remember there was a lot of people who really hated the movie, Attack of the Clones. I liked it, not because of Anakin. That was the main reason people hated the prequels, was because of Anakin. Um, at least as far as I'm aware. At least I know a lot of people hated Attack of the Clones because of Anakin, because he was such a whiny bitch. But, regardless, uh, the reason I liked the movies, uh, the movies so much was because of all the clone troopers and stuff in that, like that in, in there. If it wasn't for the clones, nah, I wouldn't care so much. But because of, it was because of the clones that I liked the movie so much, so... That's why I'm choosing this particular skin for this Let's Play, and also because that's where my avatar came from. If you've uh, noticed at all, my avatar has been like of this soldier guy, and that's basically what this is. So, whoop! Backstory on your, like, totally favorite Let's Player. Yeah, right. Anyway, those are fairly annoying because they actually zap your force energy as you're trying to do important sh important shtish. So, your best bet is to just deal with them the fastest you can and not die. 
I have a very bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. I'm stuck. I'm very stuck. I'm very, very stuck. I'm very, very stuck. Why am I stuck? What? What the hell? Why am I freaking stuck? Oh. I actually put my... Ha! That was weird. That was very weird. GTFO. Anyway, as I was saying, I completely forgot what I was saying. But, regardless, it couldn't have been that important. Deal with those scavenger droids, though, because, as I said, they will make your life a living misery if you don't deal with them. So, deal with them. Take them to counseling. Do, it, do what you need. Do what you need. Enter the Junk Titan with a droid starfighter's friggin' head thing. I actually thought that was a cool touch. Anyway. Seriously, I hate those things so much. They zap your force energy and make it nigh impossible for you to do anything important. Hey. Make it nigh impossible for you to do anything important, so I keep saying, or trying to, because I keep getting hit and interrupted by shit. You actually don't need to worry about the Junk Titan either. <sighs> or maybe you do. Aha! They tried attacking me. Like, right before the cutscene started, which is kind of funny. Is that Junk Titan still trying to get to me? That's pretty funny that he is. Cool! Let's continue on now. See, I don't fight my bosses, I just like to skip them. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Because I, I definitely love playing this game to like the best of my abilities. I wish there was a faster way of getting away from that particular thing because... Damn these... Damn these guys are freaking annoying! Okay, let's just continue on now. I hate playing my games. I love skipping my bosses rather than actually playing them. And that's pretty much the story of my life. Lagginess, what the hell? Anyway, I'm gonna just quickly use Force Repulse and get... Get away from me! I hate your facial hair! Each and every one of you! Seriously, the droids are one of the more annoying types of enemies in the game because they just will not leave you the hell alone. They'll constantly teleport to you if they're not dead and they will make your life a living misery. Just letting you know for future reference. Anyway, now I can actually continue now with my life. There is also a Jedi Holocron, Jedi, Jedi Holocron, that way. Ahem. I don't even know what the hell happened there, but still. I'm nearly approaching my destination. I'm gonna ignore this Junk Titan too. <laughs> Why? Because I can. I don't really care about them much. I just like skipping shiz. Now let's see if I could do this as well as I did in the last time I recorded this on the conventional, regular version of the Force Unleashed. Hey! Cast Imperatus at last. Don't worry, masters. I'll defend you from this Sith trash. The temple? Destroying our precious temple? Sorry, masters. I've 
failed you. Look what you just did. Juno, I'm done here. 